Helen, these ones here. They're very simple to tie. These are the type of fly I would say uh, hang between sort of weighted nymphs or heavy weighted nymphs, especially in the winter months. But this is a good pattern, a good style, and very simple. Now, this is a size 14, it's a heavyweight barbless. This one's from Vineyards, it's the Osprey. And basically number 14 or size 14. Now, I'm going to put some lead, add a bit of weight to the fly, so this is some sticky back lead. lead. Just put a single layer on. Just that near the back. Just wind it up, stop a turn or two from the eye. And then basically come over with some thread. Now, thread, I'm, I'm using quite a bright thread here. This is chartreuse. It's a uni thread in 8.0. I want a nice bright underbody to lift the colour. Or to help lift the colour anyway. And I'm just going to put a layer of thread over the lead. All the way down, around the bend. This point, and then remove the base piece. And basically work my way back up. So that's where lead covered. Now pink pink tail, red tail, even orange, or just a plain colour, like the this is a, a golden olive. But I'm gonna use the pink. Now putting a small puff or a tail on the fly adds a naming point to the fly. You can always remove it if you feel it's not working. Now what I'm going to do here is on the body part of the abdomen of the fly, I'm just going to lay this on the top, but come down with quite wide turns. Because when I come up with the dubbing, I want some of the pink to show through. I just cut at a slight angle, just a small tuft, you don't want too much. Now for the body, or the rib of the, body, the fly, sorry, all the way up, I'm using this as material I bought off the internet for us, the forming necklaces and bracelets and such like. There we go, it's called Crystal Tech. Come for career obviously. Very cheap to buy, you can buy it in lots of colours. Just gonna catch this on. Now I've cut it into a slight point and the space I've made between the lead and the tail is the area I'm gonna tie it in. I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and tight. Now it came, came back out, so I'm going to tie it back in. Just, just making sure it's tight. And stretching it. There we are. The dubbing. This is just a life cycle dubbing. In this case, it's a light olive. Lightly onto your thread. And then try and keep the body as thin as possible. So it's a nice thin layer. As you work your way up, just stretch the dubbing out. So you leave a wee space, some of the pink, so it can show through in the top. It makes, when it's wet, you'll see this more than anything than actually by your own eye. And there we are, to that point there. And then, now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to split the thread to put my dubbing on. Dubbing is going to be, this is from my hair's ear, dyed olive, this one. I've just taken some of the material off. So I mixed it between my fingers and I'm going to use this as a thorax. And then I'm just going to split the thread. Just spin the thread. Rub it on the side of the hook, which will flatten. And then using a the dubbing needle, you can half the thread. You may have to have a go two or three times to get this. That's right. Once we do it, we just slide the thread, slide the needle down. Just be careful what you're doing that. And then get some of your dubbing and just offer it into it. A small dubbing loop. Oh yeah. Now we can spread this out. Now to tighten it up, we need to spin the bobbin clockwise to tighten it. Just to form like the legs. Keep spinning until you feel it's tight enough. Now you may have to go back a wee bit, so just to get the, the area where you want it to start. Keep this quite thin. Don't 
build it up like a heavy thorax just to keep it reasonably thin. Now at this point here, I would recommend you do a wee half hitch. Just twist the thread round, form a loop. Try and not catch some of the fibre. That's what I'm trying to do is just miss the fibre. And that will stop the thread bouncing off. Then we bring up our rib or our body really all the way, leaving a slight space as we wind up. As we get near to the hair's ear, just draw it towards the eye just to make sure you don't catch too much of it down. Wind between the fibres. To get to the head here, you've got a half a turn here, so draw back. Any fibres going forward, just draw them back with your fingers. And then bring up this half turn of the material. Catch it in. Nice and tight. It's quite thick, so you've really got to put in a few turns before you start to do anything, so it's not going to slip out. Give a wee stretch and a trim. And then, sure, again, nothing's going forward to the eye. You'll not get every single fibre, but just try, try your best. Using my nail here just to make sure I'm catching in my materials. Tidying the head up. Make sure you don't fill the eye. Once you're happy, then you can basically keep the thread tight. Again, make sure that no fibres go forward. It's very easy to catch these fibres, so just take your time. Quick finish. Trim. Now what I'm going to do here is use some Velcro. Bring these fibres down. I bring some fibres out between the, the tons of rib. Now you, if you look there, you can see the pink showing through. Just like inner body colours, if you want to call it, and it adds to me, and it adds to it a nice, uh, it just works really well. I like to see things like that in flies, especially when representing nymphs and bugs, because they are quite translucent, all of these flies, all these nymphs. I'm going to colour up a wee bit, I'm just going to use a Pantone pen, I've got an olive one here, I'm going to darken the top down. And then the thorax, you can either use black or a, a dark brown. I'm just using a dark brown here. At the same time, the colour of the head, on the top especially. Just darken the thorax down. And then we can come in and varnish up. Now I like to put super glue on first, just to make sure that the thread turns are nice and tight. So allow it to set and then finish off with a Coat of varnish. Make sure the eyes clean. Here's my double needle. Take away the excess and clean the eye out. There we are. See, so all you have to do is put a wee bit of varnish on it, and that's it. It's a very simple dressing. You can basically tie different colours. In this case, I've just used, I've used a, a lighter colour on the body. It's always best to have different colours, obviously, in colour. There's the colour, that's the underbody. Dude, that's the only difference is there. Olive and a nice sort of deep yellow. So, I hope you enjoyed that. It's quite a simple, just a five to five.